Well, Iran and the uh, P5 plus one have agreed to implement the Geneva deal over Tehran's nuclear energy program as of January the 20th. Well, the agreement was reached by Iran's deputy foreign minister, Abbas Arakchi, and representatives of the P5 plus one in Geneva last week. Well, an Iranian source has told the Iran's government news agency that the P5 plus one will begin to ease economic sanctions on Iran following the implementation of the Geneva deal. Iran's foreign ministry spokeswoman has confirmed that Tehran and and the P5 plus one have agreed to implement the Geneva deal. Marzé Afkham, however, condemned the anti-Iran comments of the French foreign minister, whose country is a member of the P5 plus one. Afkham says Iran has never sought nuclear arms and is basically opposed to the production and use of weapons of mass destruction. Well, right here in the studio, newsroom director, Mr. Hamid Reza Imadi. Uh, Mr. Imadi, tell us uh, what exactly does it mean? Now, it's said that it's going to be implemented on January the 20th, 20th. One, what does it mean for Iran and what it has to do? And what does it mean for the uh, P5 plus one? Well, reaching the deal on November 24th was one thing. More importantly, uh, we are now going to implement the deal. And... Uh, it begins um, as of January 20th. It means that Iran and the P5 plus one will have to take uh, steps towards implementing the deal in terms of Iran uh, trying to limit its nuclear energy program and the P5 plus one trying to lift its illegal sanctions against Iran. As you know, there are um, very, very strong reactions from Israel and from the, the, the pro-Zionist lobby in the U.S. Congress to the Geneva deal uh, which was struck one and a half months ago. And we have to wait and see whether the same groups, uh, both Tel Aviv and its uh, mercenaries within the U.S. Congress, uh, will react to this latest development. It shows Iran has cooperated and is cooperating with the international community, with the P5 plus one in terms of implementing the deal. Iran shows its goodwill. And now it has to test the other party whether they're going to lift their illegal sanctions uh, as soon as possible. Well, we have breaking news actually right now, Mr. Mahdi, at the bottom of the screen that uh, U.S. President Obama is, has uh, welcomed the agreement uh, to be implemented, implemented with Iran. Uh, so are we going in a more positive direction, you think, uh, especially when we're talking about Tehran uh, and Washington? We've, we're seeing now that uh, the U.S. President is basically giving a thumbs up. How do you see this overall? Well, Israel and Saudi Arabia will definitely... Uh tap everything in their arsenal to sabotage this uh, latest development. They do not want Iran to have better relations with the West. Uh, President Barack Obama has said before that it is against anti-Iran sanctions in the Congress. But you see uh, more and more senators, more and more congressmen are now joining the anti-Iran anti effort by uh, uh, Senators uh, uh, Bob Menendez and, uh, um, and Kirk. So we have to wait and see whether President Barack Obama will manage to contain those anti-Iran efforts in the Congress and uh, whether or not they will listen to him when he says it's not the time to impose more sanctions against Iran. It's time. It, we have to give chance to diplomacy with Iran. All right. Thank you so much. Press TV's uh, newsroom director, Mr. Hamid Reza Imati.